One student's vision outlives his time at Marist College. Students Zachary Gowran and Andrew Gerber are co-directing an adaptation of a script from a former student, Spencer Cavanaugh. The two of them are here discussing the film, Missing Out, a compelling narrative about loss and hope. How would the two of you define your dynamic as co-directors, and how did you determine who would take on which role in this production? Well, I think naturally I kind of just went and gravitated towards the cinematography of it and blocking out um, with that kind of stuff, and he took the approach of more of... Yeah, I think I live naturally. I've always worked with actors. I have like a, uh, I have a sketch background, uh, sketch comedy background, so I just like know how to work with people, like, work, work with performances, so it was kind of natural for me to just go gravitate toward getting the performance that we needed. How would you describe your chemistry in those roles with each other? Has it been a pretty all right experience so far? Yeah, we don't really, we butt heads maybe once or twice over a shot, but like, like usually. in a good way. Yeah, in a good way, because it's always, when that, come, when that happens, it's always an idea of, we'll shoot both, and whoever is, looks better is the one that we go with. So the conflict has been constructive thus far. Yeah. yeah. We're, we're still friends, so it's like, we like banter off of each other like that, and it's just pretty easy when we're... And sometimes like, the best shots are the ones that we disagree on. Is it difficult to take on a professional uh, persona on set and leave the idea of friendship at the door, so to speak? I don't have a problem doing that. <laughs> it, it's a, it's kind of weird for me, because I, I, I have a background in comedy, so uh, on such a serious set, sometimes my brain like instantly wants to goof around, right. and we have to keep on time, like keep our schedule. So it, it can be a little difficult, but it's been a pretty nice like change of pace, and it's teaching something that I really need to learn how to do. <laughs> I'd like to learn a little bit about the pre-production. Uh, in terms of adapting the screenplay, what was your methodology in doing that with the writer in a different location? If you could tell me a little bit about that. So I think he came to us with the idea in the fall of last year, just as like a preliminary like, idea of the script. And then we spent most of last spring working on the script, working with him, actually in person to like, do these changes. So some of the concepts were discussed with him? Yeah, we met probably like five or six times in the spring. And it wasn't until like the last meeting that we had that we found out he was transferring. Did that come as a shock to the two of you? Yeah. <laughs> It was, we thought he was going abroad, so we thought, oh, he'll be back second semester, uh, next semester, would have been nice, because then we'll, uh, would have been done filming, and he could have helped with the editing, he could have, like, walked well, through the editing, if we needed to do any reshoots, that would have been something we could have done, and then just, oh yeah, I'm going. Did you think the project was dead in his absence, or did the two of you know from the start that you would continue it without him? Well, he was going to be gone um, regardless, because we thought he was going abroad for the semester, so we already had that plan in place to just move forward this semester and have him come back the following semester, which didn't end up happening, but yeah. <laughs> Are you nervous to see his reaction to the final product? Uh, yeah, a little, yeah, kind of. But I think I think that's part of like the fun of it is almost that we don't know if he's gonna be like, you guys got my vision a hundred percent, or you guys really messed up. Right. <laughs> that's a, a part of the experiment. I yes. Guess. Andrew, what is something that you have really strived to get out of your actors' performances on set? I think just the emotions, because like some of some of these scenes are really heavy, and I think if we like phone it in like with the emotions. Like we're doing our funeral scene on Saturday and that's a big emotional moment and I want that to feel genuine. So that my plan for that is really almost push them to that place because I think from what, so far what I've seen, every single person in the cast has it in them and they've done it when we needed it and I think that genuine feeling will really get a great performance. Do you have any particular tactics in pushing that emotion out of these actors? It, it's almost just you got to keep going until they get it. Like it's it's the unfortunate part with the schedule, but like we I I will spend a few takes just really getting it to them, like getting to that place where, because I think everyone has an experience of feeling that feeling, of like loss, and I think really that genuine aspect of it really will help. Building on that empathy. Yeah, Zach, how do you wish to convey these feelings of loss and sorrow and struggle? through your cinematography and camera work? Uh, so a lot of our um, flashbacks are closer shots, and it's kind of like closing them in that memory. 
where the stuff in the present is, like further back, they have a lot of wide shots to show like they're alone, that they're having like a hard time dealing with this and stuff like that. Uh, in terms of shooting, uh, in deriving the schedule, did you look at the script from a chronological standpoint? Did you have any sorts of uh, intentions in building upon the actors' performances in scheduling certain shoots? What was that process like? Do you mean in terms of like scheduling the particular the scenes? Okay. Yes. Yeah. So we kind of took it as a chronological approach, making sure that like a flashback that's supposed to happen well before the stuff that's happening doesn't happen two months after, like the right. leads are changed and it's dark and dreary. What was the process of choosing your locations to shoot? Well, uh, funny thing is, our, most of our locations did come from you. <laughs> you uh, brought us to some beautiful places and I think organically it all came together, like especially uh, Quinn's and Beacon, which was I think our big, to me that was our biggest grab for a location. Because yeah. it's, just, it's just such a unique location. And I think the scene really benefits from that change. Because our original plan was just to shoot it on the street in Poughkeepsie and outside of like one of the local restaurants by Vassar. And I think that new feeling of the scene inside with, with them and in that, rest, in that beautiful restaurant in the beautiful town of Beacon really helped it. And we've been really lucky with just locations in general. We tried not to shoot on Maris just to give it like a change of pace, a change of scenery, and we've been very lucky with getting Vassar and Quinn's, like you said, just um, your friend's home for like the interior shots, not just like a dorm room. I, I want to ask this question to each of you individually. What are your personal goals with this project? What is something you want to see from the final result, and how do you each want to develop as filmmakers through this process? Can you go for a sec? Okay, thank you. Um, <laughs> I think I want to use this as a chance to like experiment with cinematography. I've done smaller stuff in the past, and this is a chance to like grow as a cinematographer and work on like blocking with directing and that kind of stuff. Just learning the whole process from pre-production through the final product. I think to me this is such a, this is a big change of pace for me. I'm just so used to the fun, fast, kinetic energy of a improv sketch comedy. Right. So I think this like really nice change of pace where I'm more serious. I have to be more serious. I have to be more on my game. I have an actual script to go along with, not just the top of my head. And I think like pushing, getting the, seeing how well I can get performances. And when I want, when this is done, I want it to completely blow these expectations out of the water. Without spoiling anything in particular about the plot, what is the central theme that you want to deliver to the viewers with this film? Sort of the, the thesis of the narrative. Just keep moving, just keep moving, don't give up. Uh, looking forward in terms of distribution, what are your ambitions in terms of getting the film out there to viewers, both on the Marist campus and, of course, outside in the greater Hudson Valley region and perhaps further? So we're hoping to premiere at Quinn's, I think. That'd be a nice place to get it out there in the beginning. Um, we're going to talk and see if we can get it into Silver Fox Awards. Um, there's a good possibility we could bring it to the like, Classic Film Forum next year and just local ones in the area. That'll be more of a next semester focus as we're like going through editing and right. trying to find places that we could submit it to. But I think we have like a good start of where we, we can go. I think you mentioned a potential connection of the Palisades yeah. Mall. I, uh, over the summer, worked at the movie theater in the Palisades Mall, and I think they would, they're very gracious and I'm still pretty, I still talk to some of the people that work there, and I think we would be able to get a small theater for a couple showings and we think that would be a really cool thing, invite family, friends, potentially get Spencer to there to see his movie in a theater. Like, I think that is the big, like, as much as this is Zach and I's film, it's his. It, it's oh, his it's words. 100%. Yeah, we're, we're just the ones putting it to screen. He, he had the idea, he, bur he, like, made it. What would be your ideal statement to hear from Spencer once the film wraps, the credits have rolled, the lights are on, he approaches you? What do you want to hear from him? This is exactly what I saw like in my mind. You guys got it. <laughs> Wonderful. I think that's pretty good. Uh, thank you very much, Andrew. Thank you.
Thank you, Zach. Thank you. Stay tuned to see the final product, Missing Out, a film that will premiere next semester in the spring of 2019. Thank you, Andrew and Zach.